Hey folks, it's Rob, and it's another Rob Plays, and this week, we have Desert Hawk, which was developed by, why am I not sort up, it was developed by Michael Barnard and Stephen Bauer, I hope I didn't get those wrong, published by Players, the budget label of Interceptor in 1986. Now, I have kind of weird memories of this one, I actually have more memories of its loader game. Um, I remember borrowing the tape from a friend and it has um, a micro painter on it, which I probably should have shown, but let's get into it. Basic rule is you're this chopper pilot piloting the Desert Hawk helicopter and you've got to go rescue hostages. Ugh. And yes, it's a choplifter clone and I'm just going to be brutally honest with you right now. Not a very good one. So the graphics are quite spectrum-y. Um, the game's released on both the 64 and the Spectrum. And my god, I forgot how to fill it. was released on both the 64 and the Spectrum. Um, the same two coders were behind us, so I'm presuming, you know, they did by version. I mean, the graphics, kind of spectrum in how they look, you know, very high res. Not much in terms of sounds, just some very basic synth sounds and no real music. So, okay, see, wowzers, that's a bit weird. Um, there we go. So we're on the ground. We've got a We've got our uh, little chap on board. We've got to get back before running out of fuel. So you got the fuel gauge, pretty much self-explanatory there. You run out of fuel, you, you, you die, and you've got, under that, you've got your engine temperature, which is really about, um, well, that. Now that's probably where, where I kind of find this game really infuriating. Yeah, you look at Choplifter, and Choplifter has a very elegant control scheme. You know, it's got a nice slow pace, and Choplifter graduates the challenge very smoothly. You know, the first, your first pass of the base, there's sort of like no defenses online, so you're, you're basically just dealing with, you know, some very, just the, the tanks, and then you get the fighters, and you get those weird probe things. And, you know, and it gets harder and harder in a, in like, very simple sense. Uh, come on, come down. But this game, Desert Hawk, it's, like, the first stage has these, just these two little defense things. Um, and honestly, like, the procedure required to avoid them is... What the? F I lost a life. All I did was just, was just hit space. But on top of that, especially when it comes to avoiding these, these little, these launchers, it's really a case of like knowing what is safe and what isn't. Yeah. So in all honesty, the pyramids are part of the background. You can fly over those and it's fine. But there's no parallax scrolling. Like if, if this game were, were doing its job better, those would probably scroll slower. Or just be part of the background and not get moved about at all. Problem is, they're like scrolling in the foreground, and so you think you can't land in front of them. Whereas in actual fact, you absolutely can. Alright, so let's lower the temperature a bit. We've got to get past this second water, and this is where it just gets really infuriating. Like, because the, the problem is, by the time it goes up, you gotta fly short, you gotta fly low, and that's fine. But you're not flying elf. You're not, you're not being string fellow hawk, you're not flying elf. This desert hawk is a terrible, terrible helicopter. Controls might be responsive, and the graphics are clean, actually. Um, you know, not a lot of games pull the spectrum high res look off well on the 64. This one kinda does. But it's just, it's just frustrating on so many levels because what you're doing is just, it's frustrating simply because you do not have the, like even when you can avoid stuff, like why did the missile there just launch vertical and not break? Why can't I trigger that? How do I? The instructions being a budget game are pretty useless as well, so this is 
Like, honestly, I feel for you if you're a Specky fan and you don't have access to Choplifter. But in C64 land, just play Choplifter. Choplifter's Brill. I'd cover it, but I've already covered it, so. Mm, Choplifter is Brill. If you want to take one thing away from this episode, just remember that. Choplifter is Brill. Go play Choplifter. Don't be like me and play Desert Hawk. It's really rubbish. Like, I try not to, you know, get all angry and, and think, but this game really is terrible. Like, why can't I sh Why do I have a gun if I can't even shoot the... shoot these silo bases? Oh, hey. We're here. We're at base! <laughs> oh, we're at base, and I crashed the bloody chopper. Let's just... I'm going to see this game out. And then I'm just going to reset the 64 and play something else that's a bit less crap. Desert Hawk. It stinks. It's terrible. It's a disappointing game. I see what they're trying to do. Trying to take... Trying to take on Choplifter, but seriously... Just get yourself Choplifter. It's much more fun. It's actually a joy. It's actually a good challenge. It actually controls better. This is just... It's just a disappointment. So with that, I'm going to call it here. I don't think there's much more to say. I you enjoyed it. Looking at something that's not really going to get shown around much. Probably because it's so you know, average. I am sorry to the devs for saying that, but it's kind of true. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. It means a lot to me. Also love to hear your thoughts, especially if you played it on the spectrum. I'm not willing to wi I'm not willing to risk myself to play it there. I had enough of it playing on the 64. I don't even know why I picked it up on an auction really cheap. Um, and as always, new videos come out every Friday, so if you want to be ahead of them when they launch, come over and hit the subscribe button. And with that, thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you all next time.